Hello friend, or stranger, Frankie here. Let's not waste any time. On today's adventure, we're taking an overnight ferry from Osaka to Ehime Prefecture. The ferry leaves from the port in Osaka at 10pm, but people are free to board from 8pm. On the lower levels of the boat, you can park your car, so if you do that, you would need to arrive on the earlier side. We didn't use a car though, and there's a tram that'll take you to the ferry port. The first thing we did was find our rooms. We booked the cheapest option possible, which was a single room with a twin bed. The Ehime bound ticket was 9,700 yen. I'm sure the prices fluctuate depending on the day though. The economy rooms are very small, but it's just for sleeping basically. If you would find this uncomfortable, they also have suites and Japanese style rooms available. We were in a hall that had female only rooms, but there are unisex halls as well. It might also be worth noting that you don't get a key for the economy rooms, they can only lock from the inside. After we set our stuff down, we went to explore the boat a little bit. There are a few floors, but the rooms for sleeping are on the 4th and 5th floors. There was a section with massage chairs and even an arcade. The ferry leaves Osaka at 10pm and arrives in Ehime at 6am. The return trip is the same amount of time, you would obviously just switch the, the places. Um, you could get 8 hours of sleep if you pass out immediately when you board, but who does that? Um, we were pretty excited so we didn't do that. There's a restaurant on the ferry as well, I have to double check what time they close, but it was pretty early. The prices were not too bad, my friend's gyudon was about 500 yen or 5 bucks. I ate dinner with the husband before I left my house, so on the ferry I only had a drink. After visiting the restaurant, I went to a coffee machine and tried to get a cafe au lait, but I realized after I put the money in that you're supposed to put the cup inside first, so you're about to witness a moment of panic. After that I had to purchase another one. Ah. I thought you might also like to see what's inside the vending machines on the boat. Obviously any kind of boat like this with a fancy set of steps is gonna remind me of the Titanic. I think this was the first time I've been on a fancy boat though. I've never been on a cruise that was more than two hours, so I don't know. Never slept on a boat. The sixth floor on the ferry is basically just for lounging and there's a viewing deck outside but you can't see that much at night. My friend Kendall is an artist and she always has her sketchbook. The Wi-Fi on the ferry wasn't great so we just sat there for a bit and she was drawing and I think I did some stuff on my phone that didn't require Wi-Fi. Then she had to study Japanese for a bit so while she did that in her room, I was in my room eating Cheetos. They recently came out with extra flaming hot Cheetos and they're completely different from the hot Cheetos in the states. I made a video about that before but the flavor is really good. They're not spicy but I still really liked them. After that we went to check out the bathroom and the showers. There are private shower stalls and there's also a shared bath. Each bathing area is separated by gender. If you need a shower, you can just use the private stalls, but if you want to bathe, there's another shower area inside the actual bathroom. It's pretty normal for people to wash their body with a shower first, obviously with soap and everything, then relax in the bath after when your body is clean. 
Since people are sharing the bath water, it's a courtesy to others that you enter with a clean body. So obviously, if anyone is in the bathing area, you should not have your phone out. It was totally empty when we were there though. I emailed the ferry before I booked a ticket to ask if tattoos were okay in the bath. They said it was fine, but to please use it at a, a not so busy time so I don't scare other patrons. So yeah, no one was there, so I didn't scare anyone. Mission accomplished. After the bath, we used the massage chairs. It was 200 yen for 15 minutes, which is kind of expensive, maybe, not sure. But I used it anyway, and I enjoyed the massage. And there was spray near the chairs to sanitize them before or after. After that, we started getting ready for bed. Good morning. I didn't sleep as poorly as I expected to, but the beds were not comfortable at all, to be honest. Um, the boat does like sway a bit, as boats do, but it was not like a crazy amount. It was a pretty sturdy boat. The ferry arrives at 6, but the announcements come on very, very loudly around 5.30. You don't have to exit immediately. You have until 8 a.m. to get off the boat. We were catching a 6 a.m. bus, though, so we did leave as soon as it arrived. Our bus was headed to Matsuyama, the city in Ehime in which we were staying. So that's where we'll leave off for now. On the next leg of our adventure, we've got onsen, cool trains, creepy babies, great food, more onsen, city views from the top of a castle, the seaside, and more. See you again soon. Mm -hmm.